Hey everybody, it's Dawn and I'm here just to share a poem with you tonight. It's been a big day. It is Monday of Easter week 2019, um, Monday, April 15th, tax day here in the United States. Yeah, I was um, getting ready for bed, actually spilled my supper on my, on my uh, little hoodie here and I'm moving out of my place so like there's no furniture but I bought this 99 cent candle because <laughs> I felt like we needed a candle. Um, tonight so I went out and bought this and um, just to share this poem with you this weekend um, Wow <laughs> yeah I'm not even gonna discuss um, give any attention to um, various things that um, occurred this weekend but what I will say is this love always wins today there was um, a tragedy in terms of uh, what ha was happening in Paris with Notre Dame and there are so many tragedies around the world every single day and there are the tragedies um, in terms of how we see them um, that play out through time over time in various um, spaces and places and in, in various um, situations and relationships uh, and there are twists and there are turns along the way but it all comes back to the light and the life and the love that we are so I just wanted to share this poem with you tonight. Um, it is called These Three. Um, and one thing before I read that, um, I actually started this poem Friday. Um, and I had the bones of the poem, uh, which of course was before um, the events of today, or last night, was it? Anyway, the Notre Dame uh, events. And so when I started the poem, it was about three birds taking flight. And there is a photograph, I'll put the link in the in the description below. Um, boy, that is really distracting, isn't it? Um, um, but the um, there's a photograph taken by one of the news organizations of three birds flying away as the, the spire um, fell. And so I reworked the poem a bit and um, made it more... Um, the images of Notre Dame Central. Um, I do feel it was a significant event, um, very sad event, and yet I believe it can be healing and bring us back to wholeness always. So without further ado, here's the poem, these three. Great Gothic spire consumed by fire, what stories have you yet to tell? For whom the bell tolls, ask not, and neither cry. Five thousand miles away, three churches fell to flames as you. Their steeples reach no more to sky. Their people sing outside. Souls of all we who mourn so great a loss and count the cost stand witness to the rage and ruin and all that is unknown. Did the Blessed Mother throw open compassionate arms, gathering up citizens of city of lights and love? Did the maid of Orléans turn again to face the fire, repeating for a second time, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus? Did Magda, forgotten there, become the burning tower, rise from ash and fight fire to fire, a phoenix, holy flame? When the rose window shattered, did the heaven shudder too and scatter a thousand pale petals to heal and remind us these three good graces yet remain, wonder, mystery, beauty. These form a threefold trinity, faith, hope, and love below, rise to join three in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, in sacred union with Mother, Daughter, and Shekinah, at last one star complete. Sing out, you who have no home, and feel the heart's burning pain. Raise your voice to find love's lost song. Know now, Our Lady reigns. Come quickly now, you mighty lion, son of truth divine. Your bride awaits adorned, prepared to meet you on your way. Take flight, you freedom warriors. Rest your wings upon the wind. Rise now to be the light set free in love. Come back to life, back to life, back to life, back to life.